So today's canning project is to make dilly beans. We picked all of these yesterday. I'm gonna trim them and wash them. We cut them down to size. I cut this one down. I went about a half inch of head space, so then I'm gonna trim them all to be about this size and get to it. So check back later. All right, so we're back now. I got these all trimmed and washed. And I got the jars and I had to get uh, water boiling to stick them in. So that's all going. And then we got the brine. Brine is just uh, one cup of water, one cup of vinegar and one tablespoon of salt, simple brine. So now we need to fill the jars. We start by putting a clove of garlic in, about a tablespoon of hot pepper flakes, and then a sprig of dill. A sprig of dill. I keep this dill. I picked it earlier this year, so I keep it in the freezer until it's ready. I like to use wide mouth jars for this project. And you're just going to start packing these beans in here. Some of them might be a little long. You can smoosh them down or cut them down. Go ahead and fill these jars up. I use wide mouse because it's a lot easier to work with these beans. I like to put them in there nice and neat. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of these jars until I get all the beans used. And then we'll be back. So when I'm filling them, I want to try and get as many beans in these as possible again. A lot of times I'll use a knife and kind of smush them down off to one side so I can slip some more in there. And just keep that up. Once we add some liquid, we might be able to stick a few more beans in there. And just keep going along. The little extra long ones, I didn't get them all cut right to size. I just cut down. So we need a half inch of head space on these. So I have all the jars filled, got them in there. So now we're going to add the brine, which is again, one cup water, one cup vinegar, one tablespoon salt. We want a half a, half a inch of head space on these. So I'll leave them a little short to begin with, because I can probably smash, cram more beans into these once they loosen up a bit with the hot brine. Let's go ahead and fill all these and then see if we can pack some more into them before we process. Okay, I got them all filled pretty good. I'm just cutting some of the ends off of some of these. They're a little long. So do you want to like a half an inch of head space so that they seal nicely and they have room to expand. Once you add the hot water, some of them will move around a little bit easier, so you might be able to stick a few more beans in them. Get them really packed full. So I'm just going to go and check all of these and see if I can pack any more beans in them and check right back. All right, so I got these all packed. Pretty gosh darn good. Head space is good. So now we just need to put on the lids. Again, you want to wipe these off. Make sure there's no nicks on them. Put your lid on. Ring. Go around and do that. This one might be a little full. Pour it out. That's why I always work in a cake pan, so they're easy to transport and easy to just spill inside there. So I'm gonna go ahead and lid these all up and we'll put them in the pressure, or in the water bath canner. Okay, so these are all filled. Looking good, nice and neat. Water bath canner is a boiling away. It's gonna stop once we put these jars in. So I just wanna go very carefully and put your jars in your hot water bath canner. They need to be covered by an inch of water. 
Once we add these all in here, the water level will obviously go up. And then once it gets back to boiling, oh shit, that one broke. That sucks ass. Alright, well. That's one of the things that happens, unfortunately. I'm going to try and skim some of that shit out of here. The bottom of it's laying over here. That sucks! Alright, I'm going to skim some of that off, and once it gets back to boiling, then we're going to count 10 minutes, and they'll be done. So the water's boiling away really good right now, nice rolling boil. We got the timer set for 10 minutes, and then we're going to take them out and let them sit, and they should start popping. All right, it's been 10 minutes. These have sat about five minutes. Hopefully we don't have any more breaks. Sucks to get the breaks. So you need to remove them from your canner. And then set them uh, on a towel or a rack and let them cool. And they should start popping. And these need to sit for a month to marinate before the, you should eat them. No more breaks there anyway. Seldom get breaks, so that sucks that I had to get one today. But yeah, just stick them on a towel and they should start popping. Hopefully we'll get something to pop here. They all look pretty gosh darn good. Well, that's that. They should hopefully all pop. And then, again, you need to let them sit for a month before you can eat them. That's Dilly Beans 101.